Today we're going to talk about repositioning mucosal gingival junction. So when we extract this tooth out, you see this attached gingival area and an attached gingival where we call the junction between the mucosal gingival junction. Sometimes uh, we are able to graft the site and um, place the membrane and allow attached gingival to form and cross around. However, sometimes due to a large bony defect, we end up making incision. and then pour this tissue over for a primary closure. However, as you can see, this has essentially relocated the mucogingival junction too close to where we're gonna restore with the implant. And as you know, you want at least about two millimeters of attached gingival all around the implant. So sometimes what I do is I go ahead and place an immediate implant and then I bury it um, with cover cap to maximize uh, the chances of survivor uh, while minimizing other um, factors that may compromise the osteointegration of the implant. And then once implants are integrated, I make a similar incision like here and here, and then I make a flap, place a healing abutment here, and essentially reposition this mucogingival junction apically like this to allow this adequate amount of attached gingival all around the healing abutment that we're placing here.